I'm going to show you simply is how to use Jest, Puppeteer, and Assert to run a simple unit test. Now, the test I'm going to show you how to do is that, let me just let me show it to you real quick. So we're going to visit this page here. This is a this is a React app that I created. As you can see, local OS 3000, the server is on. We're going to visit this page and we're going to test out some features. For example, we're going to test out if clicking this, if this logo here, clicking it will take you back to the home page. If clicking the pricing, take you back to the pricing, clicking help will take you back to help. So we're going to test basically everything that's on the header. We're also going to test the Google Auth. Clicking this, does it give you the list of accounts? So those are the things that we, we're going to test. So let's begin by writing, by um, bringing in those packages. I showed you how to download the, the packages in the first video. So um, what the way Jest works is this, very simple. Jest looks for looks through your, through your directory and see if there is a folder named test. There is none in this case. I'm going to make one. And then inside this, I'm going to create, create my first test suit. Again, just runs test suit by doing npm run test. So my first test suit that I'm going to make is a header test. Header dot test dot js. That's how you have to put dot test in in all of them. Okay, so now let's bring in both packages that I'm going to use. So const assert require Assert puppeteer cons. We don't really have to do that, we just do this puppeteer require puppeteer. And the next thing I want to do is there was let me save it. Next thing I want to do, all right, so. Let's write the test first. The first test I'm going to do is very simple. Test. Test. And what do I want to do? I want to confirm that clicking this this URL over here will give you the correct um, will give you the correct home page. That's what I want to do. Well, that's, that's an easy one that I can do actually. Let's test the home page. Say test home page URL. Async away. I love using async, which is an asynchronous method. What it does is this. I'm going to show you in a second. So const um, URL await. So when the compile page, I'm going to define page. So when the compiler then assert that this URL is the same as the one I'm going to fetch here. So when the compiler gets the line 8, it waits for it to first finish, obtain the results, and then it moves on. That's the point of a sync and a wait, rather than doing everything uh, synchronously. Now, before each test, I want to use Puppeteer that I defined here to launch the browser, the Chromium browser. That's what that's what Puppeteer does. It creates a virtual browser, and that browser visits your page. So I'm, I'm going to, before you, just like Mocha, before each test, a simple way. Browser, or let me define browser and page, actually, globally. I'm going to need them throughout this. That browser, and that page. Okay, so before each browser equals await puppeteer launch it. That's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to pass in an optional parameter. Now I'm not making these things up, by the way. You can see right here. Go go on GitHub. You see the GitHub library it allows you to pass optional parameters. The one I'm using is headless. And passing it false. Is there a difference between true and false? It's up to you. I'll show you. I'll show you both cases. False, you actually get to see the thing run and close, open and closes. True, you don't. So I'll show you. Next thing is, uh, I'm gonna create a new page. Open up a new page. Await the browser should open up a new page. New page. What this does is literally this. 
it opens up the virtual browser and then it opens up a new page. You don't have to make it do that, but it's this is better for me. Then I want the new page to go to to go to this URL over here. So I want it to do that's it. Now after each test, can you I, I close the virtual browser? Close the virtual browser after each after each test. So let's see. Let's let's hope this works. This is a very simple test, but it does. Before I before this test runs, it creates a virtual. It launches a a, a virtual browser. It uh, opens up a new page. In this new page, it fetches this URL. And then runs this test. By this test, I mean the page gets the URL, passes it on to URL, and then confirms that the URL of this page is the same as what I have copied here. Obviously, you can see it's the same, so let's see if it runs true. And now to run test, just we simply write npm run test. Again, let's Hope this works without any error. Given that I am doing screen screen recording, it's using a lot of my my internet, so it might not work, which is what we have here. It's it, the the error is saying not involved. Yeah, so it's taking long to fetch. Home page. Let's do it again. This is a result of npm run test. It's taking really long to do it. You can you can see it yourself. It's taking extremely long. It's because of the screen sharing is taking taking a long time. This is the browser. The browser was not disconnected. It's my screen sharing. It's taking a hell of a long. It's making my internet go slower. Let's see. If, let's see if it runs. There's no. The the code works. By the way, I can. I am sure the code works. If you can get it to work on on your internet, let me know. This would be really nice. It's just my screen sharing. As you can hear from the background, is using a lot of CPU as well yes yes it worked perfect see one passed because we only did one test reason why it was taking a long time is because of the is, is because I am doing screen recording which takes tons of time which takes which is using my internet a whole lot so let's stop the video and for the next video I'm going to show you how to do other things on the header, how to test other features by like clicking this, clicking that, getting the Google Auth to show up, things, things like that.